everyone and welcome back to Tropical Marine Centre. Colette here. Today's video I'm going to be taking you into the Manchester Fish House. We're going to be having a look at the fish, corals and inverts inside here. And don't worry, we're not just going to be focusing on Manchester. In the next coming weeks we'll also be taking a tour around the London branch in Chorleywood as well. So stay tuned if you wanted to see all of that and thank you very much for watching. So let's take the tour into the Manchester Fish House. Here as you walk in on the left hand side is the coral bays and inverts. Now this is lit up by a selection of our different lights from the aqua ray tiles to the reef pulsars and also the reef photons. Moving forward into the fish house you can see the majority of the tanks here are all fish. That is Sarah, she takes photos of our livestock and sends them to the customers. And then here we have James and Leon, and um, they're both cleaning out the tanks as you can see here. I'm gonna move a little more to the left and at the bottom of this aisle is Tash. And at the bottom there was our fish house manager, Matt. He doesn't really like to be on camera, so yeah. <laughs> Now I'm going to take you a little closer and I'm going to look at the corals um, to start off with. So on this bay, as you can see here, we have a mixture of euphelia and SPS corals. So there's some really nice aquapora inside this shot. And then you'll also see to the left is some mushrooms. There is also a variety of different leather corals as well. Yeah, and then some gonipora, um, some frog spawn there. Lots and lots of more euphelia inside this tank, um, ranging from torches to hammers and frog spawns. And a variety of different colors as well. Into the next tank, we've got some gonipora. We've got some absolutely stunning lobos there gosh some of the colors on these are absolutely incredible in person I'm hoping that this shows and does it justice on the camera really really nice and then here are some more Acropora and Miliopora some more SPS in, in general and um, really really nice lots of polyps on show there as well and then we move on to some Montipora um, and to the side of that is some button sclemias. There's some small button sclemias and then also to the other side is some large button sclemias. Now I've never actually seen them this big. There's also some frilly slugs and sea cucumbers and also some feather duster worms inside these little crates. Now moving on to more of the inverts, we have some sea urchins, we've got some bubble tip anemones, some different types of spiny sea urchins, some more bubble tip anemones with some clowns in. We've then got lots of um, different snails and crabs and some carpet nems, boxer shrimp. We've got some sponges and more feather duster worms, some clusters as well, sea squirts and gorgonians. And then this tray is full of some beautiful torches, some tracheophilia that are more rainbow in colour, some chalice, lots of different hammers there in different colours, some micromusa gardens or um, acan gardens if you'd like to call them there. Then we've got some mushrooms there and then also some really nice coral gardens that have been put together with lots of different frags on. These blastos have been attracting me constantly. Every single day I go over and look at these, they're gorgeous. And then the fungi plates as well. Now this um, tray here is our eco reef cultured um, frags. So there is a huge variety of different types of frags from different corals here um, that have all been cultured at our London branch and sent down. These are mushrooms, so you can have a little look at the different mushrooms can go per leaf instead of colonies like the others um, and then more frags here as you can see that have been chopped and ready to go lots of lots of different um, euphelia there as well now um, some more of our inverts we've got lots of different types of starfish sea hare peppermint shrimp and a large variety of soft corals as well 
some SBS, some leathers, lots of snails, lots of zoas, <laughs> um, lots and lots of different varieties of snails there. And then some sun corals, starfish, sea cucumbers. Yeah, there's just too much to say and I've sped up these clips a little bit just purely down to the fact that this was a very long video without. There is some beautiful Maxima clams here and um, these have been cultured as well. And then some scallops. Cabbage corals, leather corals. Xenia, some mushrooms. Huge mushrooms. <laughs> And now we move on to the fish. So these are stunning little triggers, some puffer fish. There's just such a big array of different fish that you'll see here. The catfish, I love the catfish. And then we have some frogfish here. These are one of my favorites. Really nice groupers, some lionfish, and plenty of different tangs as well to have a little look at. We also have a great selection of nano species um, here in this middle section of tanks and um, they're great for the next wave tanks whether it's the 35 that you're starting off with or going up to the next wave 60 or 85. Now the rest of this bay is a mixture of different types of fish but we will move on to some of our angel fish as well um, in just a moment and wow they are mega they're stunning i love 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 looking at the angel fish and the different colors that you get from them look at this little guy he's staring me out he came right up to the front of the tank gorgeous some mystery wrasse really nice colors from them as well and then the hybrid lemon peel there some more clowns and the blue spotted jawfish this has got to be a favorite for most you can't say that's not a cool fish hey Now on this side we have a huge variety of different wrasses and we've got some butterfly fish and also got some more angels stunning <laughs> we've got some clowns some blennies I love blennies they're my favourite actually look at them flame angels gorgeous some lemon peels And then another batfish in with a mixture of different types of um, chromis and different types of fish. Some wreckfish with a batfish and some gobies. And then onto some more types of angels. There's a rabbit fish as well in the back there. Now onto some blue cheek gobies, great sand sifters if you are looking for a sand sifter. Some beautiful butterfly fish now, there's quite a few different varieties of butterfly fish throughout these tanks. Some heniocus in that one as well. And then here we have some beautiful eels, look at them ribbon eels, wow. Firefish. Heniocus, some more goby, neon gobies.
I love how they all come to say hi when I've got the camera. These are stunning little um, Valentini puffers. Some more butterfly fish. And regal tangs, of course. Some fox face mixed with some triggers. There's there's plenty of different um, species here. There's a flat-headed perch here. He's really popular because he's rare. <laughs> Very inquisitive, as you can see. Another butterfly fish, and then some more angels here to this side. Wow, look at his markings. Samantha's. Some yellow gobies. Another variety of antias there. Look at these little box fish. So cute, they're like little bobbin heads. Got some file fish. These are the aptes you're eating file fish. Then we've got some venomous fish. Look at these, the rhinopias and the uh, limefish together. These guys are really cool. Moorish idol there. Some more fire, file fish, sorry. Beautiful. Oh, and look at these little box fish. They are honestly tiny, really, really sweet. The camera's not even picking them up very well because they're that tiny. <laughs> And I really wanted to show you these guys because I just thought they were really funny the way that they just sit there with their mouths open. <laughs> like they're waiting for food. Come on, give me some food. Now to show you some more of the inverts that we have. Um, so we have plenty of different types of crabs here, as you can see, the arrow crabs. Some porcelain crabs. They're really, really nice, really pretty. Some hermits there. Another porcelain crab. And then some pom pom crabs. Really cool. Look at their little pom poms. These guys are awesome. Some fire shrimp. Really cool. These are a, a popular one. Um, but they do like to hide. Cleaner shrimp, however, like to be out about in the tanks. You tend to see more people buying the fire shrimp than the cleaner shrimp, but the fire shrimp do like to hide a lot more than the cleaners. Some halicant quin shrimp there. Now to a tiger pistol shrimp. Oh, really nice. Another box of shrimp. They are cool. <laughs> and onto some more fish that are on the opposite side here of the fish house. So these are the blue neon gobies, really cool little fish. Some beautiful clownfish. 
so underrated. <laughs> Look at this rhinobius. Sorry, but he is the coolest fish. Like, he's got to be the coolest. Some beautiful little mandarins there. Some pipefish. So cute. Some Valentini puffers and some scooter blennies. These are algae blennies. Really cool little guys. Great for picking up algae if that's what you're after. So that's us coming to an end of our tour now and I hope you've all enjoyed this. Thank you. So that's everything from me today at Tropical Marine Centre. I hope you've all enjoyed that little tour around the Manchester branch. Like I said at the start of the video, stay tuned because we will be doing a tour around our London branch, Chorleywood, very soon. Um, so keep your eyes peeled on our social media accounts. Now the link in the description bar below takes you over to all our other social medias and also over to our website. If there's anything that you're wanting to see, if it's in stock, whether it's fish, corals, inverts or some of our dry goods as well, please feel free to head on over to that website check find the dealer and that will show you your local TMC stockist as well thank you everyone I'll see you in the next one